Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Valentine's Day guide, including my favorite Valentine's Day beauty products, random things, and a DIY on really cute heart printed shorts. Hey guys! Okay, so right now I'm in front of this waterfall and it's really cold. And I'm going to tell myself that it's not cold, so Bethany, it's not cold. Okay, that was really random, but since it is obviously February, Valentine's Day is coming up really quickly, and I honestly can't believe how fast it's coming, and I don't even have a Valentine, but you know what, guys? It's okay. Actually, you guys told me on Twitter that you would be my Valentine, so you can't take that back. You guys are officially my Valentine, and I'm your Valentine, so we are not forever alone. We are forever awesome. Hashtag forever awesome. So I'm going to be showing you guys one of my favorite DIY projects right now. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own heart printed denim short. And then I'm also going to be showing you guys my Valentine's Day favorites. I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite Valentine's Day beauty products and my favorite like kick flicks and everything like that. It's just like a very Valentine's Day video that I'm really excited about. So let me know what your Valentine's Day favorites are below or you can tweet it to me. And I'm going to go ahead and get started now because it's getting really cold. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is just an old pair of shorts that you want to spice up. And then you're also going to need a heart stencil. You can make one or buy one. You're going to need some fabric paint, a sponge or paintbrush, and also some spray glue, which is optional. So just start off by laying out your shorts and we're going to pick up our stencil and what I'm doing is taking the spray glue and lightly spritzing the back so that the stencil is going to stick better to my shorts but if you don't have spray glue then you can just make sure that you hold it firmly to the shorts while you're painting. So I'm just dipping my little sponge in the white paint and then I'm just going to start sponging that onto my shorts and when you peel it off you have a little heart so that's it it's really simple really easy to do and you can create different sized hearts if you want to you can do a bunch of little ones and a bunch of big ones and kind of mix it up but i just went with the same size because i don't really know but anyways you just want to complete that step on your shorts until you have it all finished Then you want to allow your shorts to completely dry before you wear them, and after they are dried, you can flip those bad boys on, and bam, you have your heart shorts. I did it on this light wash pair of shorts that I never really wore, and now I've been wearing them all the time, so I just paired mine with a simple white tank top, and I also added one of my favorite headbands right now. I'm in love with these cute little polka dot headbands. I got this one from Claire's. But if you want to dress the shorts up a little bit more for Valentine's Day, then you can go with a more detailed lacy top. Mine is from Love Culture. And my head booba band is red and white polka dots, and I think this one was from Claire's as well. And oh yes, I heartified my leggings too, because I wear leggings all the time, so this is a really nice way to spice up any old leggings that you have. I just put really big hearts on the knees of my leggings and they're really comfy and I just love this so much and I just paired it with a comfy sweater and my favorite hot pink knit beanie from Forever 21. Okay, and here are my B-Day Beauty Essentials if you're going on a date or something like that. So my favorite Valentine's Day perfume is Vera Wang Princess OMG. This is like such an amazing smelling perfume. It's not too sweet, but it's just really appealing, and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, so I love it. And then also for Valentine's Day, I recommend cheek stains just because they look really natural, and they just give you a very pretty flush. So this is Benetint, and you just dot it on your cheeks, and then you blend it in, and bam. It just looks like a natural blush, like you're blushing. Okay, that was cheesy. And, of course, you want kissable lips for Valentine's Day. Even if you're going to be kissing your dog like me, it's totally fine. And I'm sure you guys know my favorite lip balm right now is Baby Lips. This is amazing. I get all of my baby lips at Target, pretty much, and they have so many flavors, and they smell amazing. Try not to get addicted, girl, because I am addicted. I haven't met you yet. And of course, you got to have a lip stain if you're going out to dinner and you don't want your lipstick to rub off on your glass. These are the L'Oreal Wet 
stains. I think they are, and they are so awesome because they stay on for like the longest time ever, and they have so many colors to choose from. And then also, I love my rosebud lip salve because during Valentine's Day, I pretty much like anything that smells like roses. So you can moisturize your lips with this, but you can also moisturize like your skin and everything like that. It's just like an all-in-one moisturizer. So this is my all-time favorite dry shampoo, and I don't use it when my hair is oily. I mainly use it to give my hair more volume, and it smells like roses as well. So it's perfect for Valentine's Day. And you can also find lots of other drugstore dry shampoos at your local Walmart or Target or something like that. So there's a big variety you choose from, and I just love the volume that they give my hair. Okay, now if you're not going out on a dinner date for Valentine's Day, don't worry because you can have just as much fun hanging out with your girlfriends and having a girls' night in. You know, you can even get some fondue for two, like chilling by the fire while we eat and sorry. And you can even buy yourself your own chocolate. There's nothing wrong with buying yourself chocolate for Valentine's Day. Trust me, guys. I mean, I've done it. You can even buy yourself a teddy bear. You know what the heck? <laughs> And do not forget to hit up the magazine section with your friends to get all the latest magazines because I don't know about you guys, but I really love just having a girls' night in and reading about celebrities and trends and fashion and all that kind of stuff. And by the way, my little kitty ring is from ASOS.com and I thought it was really cute, so I'm just wearing that ring. And what's a girls' night in without movies? So I have so many different favorite kick flicks, but I want to know what your guys' are, so leave a comment below. Here are some of my favorites. So Undercover is a new favorite of mine, but of course, nothing can replace Valentine's Day. I mean, come on. It just fits perfectly, and I cannot help but watch this every single Valentine's Day now. I'm seeing Hollywood Taste with my homegirl. One of my all-time favorite V-Day treats will always be chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh, they're just so good. And I kind of want to try, like, pickles dipped in chocolate. Has anybody ever tried that? You guys should let me know. Because I think it would be pretty good. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And no matter what you're doing for Valentine's Day this year, just have fun. And if you don't have a Valentine, don't worry, because I'll be your Valentine. And so will my niece, Maroon. So I will talk to you guys in my next video, and I love you. Bye. Now water, water, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Wait, I'm gonna fall. Okay. Don't break the blushes. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> I like turbo. Oh, you going to stop? I feel really awkward right now because people are. Oh my God! Somebody's staring at me. This is beautiful. Whoa!